Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Ordinary Gonactive Retinoid 5% in Squalane, which is an anti-aging zone that can help you to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, textured skin dullness and an uneven skin tone. And when adding it to your skincare routine, just use it in the evening. And once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now this serum has a period after opening time of three months, which is important to emphasize because once you have opened the bottle you basically should use it up within that period of time so that you're making sure that you're getting most out of it because if you're going to use it longer than that the ordinary cannot fully guarantee if it's still giving you the same efficacy and what's important to emphasize is that once you have opened the bottle please store it somewhere cool and dark this can be an area in your house this can be your skincare fridge or even your usual fridge so that it can maintain its efficacy now you may now wonder, well, how can I use up the entire bottle just for my face and neck? Well, you're probably not going to finish it based on the amount of product that you would use, which I will get into in just a moment. So therefore you can either go ahead and share this serum with a friend or maybe a family member, or you can use it on your body as well to give it some anti-aging benefits so that you can use up basically the entire bottle or most of it. And so when working with it, what's important to emphasize is the formulation how it also feels on the skin since the serum can be used on all skin types but it's in squalane which is an oil and therefore not everyone may like the feeling of an oil on the skin especially if you have an oilier skin type now this may not have to uh, have to be the case for you if you like it if you don't mind the feeling go ahead and use it but I do want to describe it just a bit so that you have an idea of what to expect so when applying the serum to the skin and you're going to blend it into the skin first of all it needs some time to fully absorb into the skin and once it has absorbed into the skin it always is going to leave an oily like feeling on the skin surface therefore I would say it's more so suitable for a drier skin type if you prefer to work with an oil than if you have an oilier skin type because you have already oily skin and you may not want to have like more oil on the skin surface or have like a greasy heavy kind of feeling on the skin but I just want to mention it because that then you know what to expect when getting it. Still, since you're going to use this zone in the evening, you may not like mind it at all because then you're going to apply it to the skin just before going to bed and then you do not bother, it, uh, uh, bother about the texture or the feeling on the skin because you're going to wash your face the next morning anyway and then just do your usual skincare routine so that you do not have that feeling during daytime when doing stuff. And so this is also one point to consider when working with it. Now, granactive retinoid is basically a form of retinoid and this is important to emphasize because it's an ester of retinoic acid. Now your skin needs retinoic acid so that it can properly work. And so with the ester of retinoic acid, your skin cells can immediately bind to granactive retinoid so that it can immediately give it efficacy. Now, why is this important to emphasize? Well, because for example, the ordinary has a range of retinols as well as granactive retinoids. Now, the benefit of granactive retinoid is first of all, it can immediately get to work and it is less likely to cause irritation. Whereas retinol needs two transformations until it gets into retinoic acid so that your skin can work with it and retinol on the other hand is also more likely to cause irritation so this is like the major difference between those two so if you are thinking of should I go with retinol or gonactive retinoid well then my best advice would be gonactive retinoid but at the same time just use one either retinol or retinoid please do not use multiple retinoid or retinol products in the same routine so when working with it, what you have to keep in mind is basically a setup of a skincare routine, which I now want to get into. Now I have prepared for you a very simple setup as well as a more advanced setup, as well as what you should avoid because it may increase the risk of experiencing irritation, which I will get into step by step. If you find all the PowerPoints helpful and you want to know more and everything, read in details in your own time, you can download them in the description box down below. So I want to get started with a very simple setup. So what's important to do during daytime is basically washing your face either with just water or a gentle cleanser that's suitable for your skin type, rinse it off, pat the skin dry, and then follow on with sun protection. This can be a moisturizer with SPF, a regular sunscreen, or whatever you may prefer to use afterwards, something that's going to protect the skin. 
mainly because we are working with one active retinoid in the evening, which sunscreen during daytime is important to protect the skin, not only from premature aging, not only from like damaging the skin further due to the UV rays, or maybe because you're battling with surface hyperpigmentation, but also because guanactive retinoid helps to speed up the cell turnover, which means that it helps to let go of the dead skin cells on the skin surface faster so that the new and healthy skin cells can come forward so that over time you would have a more even and youthful complexion. And so with the new and healthy skin cells, those are more sensitive to the sun. They cannot properly protect themselves since this is what the dead skin cells basically would do. And over time, your dead skin cells are becoming less and therefore sunscreen during daytime is the key point. So please do not forget this. This would be basically a simple, straightforward morning skincare routine. When it comes to the evening, which I highly would recommend doing, especially in the beginning, to figure out how your skin is going to tolerate the connective retinoid 5%, then this would be doing your cleansing step. This can be your daily gentle cleanser to remove any sunscreen and or makeup. If it's like products that can be easily removed, then go ahead and use just one cleanser. Or if it's a bit more stubborn, water resistant or waterproof, then work with micellar water or even an oil or balm cleanser at first and then use your daily gentle cleanser. Wash your face, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. Then move on to the application of the Granactive Retinoid, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, and then if you still should feel the need, follow with a moisturizer. Now using a moisturizer isn't necessary. This depends on how your skin is going to respond to Granactive Retinoid, as well as your overall skin type. So go ahead and adjust it. But this would be a straightforward morning as well as evening skincare routine, which I would recommend if you're being completely new to skincare in general. But you can also go ahead and do a bit more of an advanced skincare routine depending on your overall skin needs. And this is where the order of application, especially when looking into the ordinary products, is becoming extremely important. So I have a setup of an entire morning as well as evening skincare routine, mainly focusing on the ordinary products, but I did add a hydrating and soothing toner to this routine as well because I know that some of you are working with the toner so that you can see the order of application. So, for the morning skincare routine, you can go ahead and create something like this. Again, get started with washing your face using a gentle cleanser or just with water. Rinse it off, pat the skin dry. Move on to your hydrating and soothing toner if you have one at home, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. Then you can move on, for example, to an eye serum, which can be in this case the ordinary caffeine solution. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, and then you can follow with other treatments which are specifically for your skin needs and then move on to the moisturizer and then separate sunscreen, or again, use a moisturizer that already contains SPF or your regular sunscreen to protect the skin during daytime. When it then comes to an evening skincare routine, it's basically a similar setup uh, by adding the Granactive Retinoid just without the sunscreen. So again, with the cleansing step, either use your daily gentle cleanser or do a double cleansing method to properly wash your face, rinse it off, pat the skin dry. Move on to the hydrating and soothing toner, then you can move on to the eye serum, then maybe other treatments if you should feel the need, and then you're going to apply the Granactive Retinoid in Squalane to the skin, you're going to leave it on skin, there's no need to wash it off, and then finish off with a moisturizer if you still should feel the need at the end of the routine. And this is basically the entire setup of an evening skincare routine. Now, of course, you can go ahead and adjust it accordingly to your needs. This is just an example so that you understand the steps. When it comes to mainly focusing it on the ordinary products, the order of application is important since they're working with different formulations. And so then this is what they basically recommend. You're going to get started with water-based serums, then you're moving on to their anhydrous solutions, then any oils if you want to add them, then their moisturizer or overall creams, and then lastly the suspensions. So this should already give you an idea when looking into the different formulations and products of the ordinary on how you can properly layer them. But now I want to get into a topic which may not be an issue for some of you, but I do want to emphasize it so that you have an idea of how you can respond to it if that's going to happen. Now, basically with the Gwenactive Retinoid, you can say that you can use any other skincare products along with it, even exfoliating acids, because it is less likely to cause irritation. However, still in the very beginning, when being new to Granactive Retinoid, my best advice would be use it at first on its own. So for one or two months, use it at first on its own to see how your skin is going to respond to it and to adjust the frequency, which I will get into in just a moment, so that you have an idea of 
uh, if you should come across any troubles when just using Renactive Radio, like if you tolerate it really well, you have figured out your frequency, then you may want to think of adding anything else into your skincare routine or basically alternate between different skincare products, depending on your overall experience with the product itself and what you may want to add to it. And this is now where my conflict list is basically going to um, help you understand what can work, however, may also lead to irritation. The first one would be buffet copper peptides. They can be used together, however, if sensitivity occurs, keep them separate, use one in the morning, the other one in the evening, or on alternate evenings. The next one would be exfoliating acids. Leave on exfoliating acids. Again, it can work really well, however, to some degree, it can, like, increase the risk of experiencing irritation where you can come across stinging or burning and therefore it's best if that is going to happen in your case to keep them separate. Then another point would be strong vitamin C products such as the vitamin C suspensions. The same case would apply to this. This combination can work however for some people it may be quite strong and then you cannot tolerate it and therefore it's best to keep them separate. However, there's one more important point that I want to emphasize, which I recommend not doing. This is, first of all, when using the peeling solution or in general, the ordinary salicylic acid mask and the peeling solution to not follow with a Gwenactiv retinoid 5% afterwards, especially with the peeling solution mainly, since it contains such a high strength of AHA, then this can really lead to sensitivity. And the last point that I want to emphasize is again, if you're working with Gwenactiv retinoid, please do not use other retinoids or retinols in that same routine, such as tretinoin, differingial, which are all retinoids, or even retinol or retinal. Please just choose one, either your retinoid or retinol, or your Gwenactiv retinoid. And if you should have like multiple retinoids at home, then I would recommend either just choose between one of them or alternate between them in the evening so that you still can use them or basically use them up if that's your case, but making sure that you're not going to irritate the skin because if you're going to use multiple retinoids in the same routine, again, this can really create a high risk of experiencing irritation. And so therefore keep them separate. Now, I just want to quickly emphasize a frequency guide, which is important to mention based on what signs of irritations can occur and how you're going to respond to it. Now, with the Gwenactiv retinoid 5%, the signs of irritations may not be as strong as if you would work with a retinoid like tretinoin or if you're working with retinol, but still the risk is there and it can happen. Therefore, my overall general guide would be start off by using it two to three times per week. Do this for two to three weeks to see how your skin is going to respond to it. Then you may want to add it up to every other day if that's fine for your skin. And then you're going to basically follow it up by using it daily in your evening skincare routine. Adjust the skincare routine and the frequency based on your overall skin needs and how your skin is going to tolerate it. Because signs of irritations based on retinol, Gwenactiv retinoid and your retinoids in general can be redness, stinging, burning, or more commonly also a sunburn feeling. You can come across dryness and you can come across a peeling. However, those aren't really like, uh, like signs of irritations. This is basically what Gwenactiv retinoid does. It helps to let go of the dead skin cells as well as pushes the new skin cells forward. Therefore, you're going to end up with white flakes on the skin surface, which you can help to balance with, for example, an exfoliant or a gentle scrub. But for more on that, I have a specific video for you in the top right corner where I personally recently went into like signs of irritation, which I experienced myself and how I dealt with it. Now, this is what I wanted to share with you when it comes to the basic information that I wanted to share with you so that you have a pleasant experience when using this product. But now I want to keep my focus on the actual application so that you can see it visually. And I'm going to follow the simple setup of an evening skincare routine, which is cleansing, applying your Gwenactiv retinoid and then moisturizer if you should feel the need. So that you have an idea of how much you need to use when applying it to the skin. So we are going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a suitable and gentle cleanser for your skin type and needs. In this example, I'm using Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser. If you have another one, add 
at home that works well for you, go ahead and exchange it. But just don't forget to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser, since the directions can change depending on the cleanser that you're using. You can wash your face above the sink or take your cleanser with you in the shower, wash your face in the shower while washing your hair and body anyway. And then once you're done in the shower, you're going to continue with the rest of your skincare routine. So in this specific case, I need to apply the cleanser on wet skin. So the first step that I'm going to do is now wetting my face, neck and hands with lukewarm water to warm water so that I then can apply the cleanser on wet skin. So let's go ahead and do this. Then go ahead, use about one to two palms, or about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand. Rub your hands together and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Please make sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water by either just doing this with your hands or depending on the cleanser that you're using and if you're trying to remove sunscreen and or makeup, you can use a soft and fresh washcloth in between which you're going to wet and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So once you're done with your cleansing step, you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the next step. There's no need to wait in between. Now the next step can be an optional step, which would be the application of an hydrating and soothing toner, or maybe an exfoliating acid, depending on your overall needs and tolerance. Now, when you're using a toner, use between five to eight drops on the palm of your hand, or about a coin size amount on your cotton pad, and then gently blend it all over your face and neck. Once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. If you want to see a specific application guide, I have a video for you in the top right corner. Then you can immediately move on to the next optional step, which would be the application of an eye serum, such as the ordinary caffeine solution. You can use between one to two drops for both eyes. However, I recommend starting off with one drop, use it on your fingertips, rub your fingers together and then gently apply it on the eye contour, maybe your brow bone as well, but please do not use it on top of your eyelids and please do not get it into your eyes. Once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then you can continue with another optional step, which would be adding additional treatments to your skincare routine. This can be, for example, an hydrating serum or a specific treatment for your overall skin needs. This can be adjustable accordingly to your specific needs. So this is very individual. I have an entire list of what products from the Ordinary line can be used along with Granactive Retinoid with the specific specific amount of product that you are going to use when applying it to the skin. Keep in mind this is an overall general guide, but you can go ahead and download it in the description box down below along with the other example skincare routines. And then once you have applied your specific serum on the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And if you want to see, for example, a specific guide about the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum, as it's quite popular, then I have a video for you in the top right corner to have an overall understanding of how you can work with it. Once you have applied it to the skin, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And then you're going to move on to the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid 5% in Squalane and apply it to the skin. Now, when applying it to the skin, you use between three to six drops for your face and neck. Now, the amount changes based on if you're using it basically on its own immediately after cleansing 
or if you're going to use other products beforehand before applying one active retinoid. Because if you're already using, for example, an hydrating and soothing toner before applying the one active retinoid, you may not need to use as much product as if you would use the one active retinoid on its own because your skin is already a bit like damp and hydrated and therefore you have like more room to blend it. Whereas if you're going to use it immediately on dry skin after cleansing, it may absorb faster into the skin and therefore you may need to use a bit more. Therefore, my best advice would be play around between three to six drops. Make sure that you can evenly blend it all over your face and neck and once you have applied it you're going to leave it on the skin there's no need to wash it off. Now when doing the application either use a few drops on the palm of your hand or on your fingertips or immediately place the drops on your face and then start blending it. Please do not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. Please do not use it on top of your eyelids. Please be careful on the corners of your eyes as well as please do not bring it too close to the actual lower lash line. And the same would apply with your mouth. If you're getting it too close to the actual lip or you're getting it on the lip, then this can easily lead to irritation. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, you can stop right here in your evening skincare routine. If you do not feel the need of using a moisturizer afterwards, it's completely fine. However, if you now want to add a moisturizer afterwards, then go ahead and do so. Just make sure that you're choosing a moisturizer that's working well for your overall skin needs and that it feels comfortable on the skin, and it should not clog your pores, nor should it irritate your skin. So in this, again, example, we're working with ordinary natural moisturizing factors which is a great basic moisturizer for all skin types and when using your moisturizer use about a bean size amount so that you can evenly blend it all over your face and neck. About that much more or less rub your fingers together and then gently blend it all over. So, and once you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this can be the last step in your evening skincare routine. Again, remember, in the evening there's no sun protection needed, only during daytime. Now there's one additional tip that I want to share with you, and this is also mixing the Ordinary One Active Retinoid 5% in Swalane with your moisturizer. Now when doing this, only apply it once. Either apply the One Active Retinoid on its own, as I just have demonstrated, by layering it with other skincare products if you should feel the need, or mix it with your moisturizer. This can not only help you to dilute the Gwen Active Retinoid to some extent to make it more suitable for what your skin can tolerate, but at the same time it can help to improve the texture. So if you, for example, do not like the feeling that much of Gwen Active Retinoid, mixing it with your moisturizer may make it a bit more pleasant. And so when doing so, you go ahead, use your moisturizer. When it comes to my recommendation, I would use the Ordinary Moisturizer because it's really a simple moisturizer that does not really interact with any other serums that you want to mix it with. And so then use about a bean size amount on the palm of your hand. About that much, more or less. And then you can add between two to three drops of Gonactive Retinoid to it. Now I wouldn't use more than that because then you may end up with too much product that you cannot properly blend all over. Once you have both on the palm of your hand, then start mixing it. And then you're basically going to customize it every time. Once you have mixed it, rub your hands together and then gently blend it all over your face and neck. Again, please be careful to not get it into your eyes, nor into your mouth, nor use it too close around the actual lip, since this can easily lead to irritation. And then this would be the mixing guide that you also can do. So you can either just use it on its own or customize it with your moisturizer. And so this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can properly use the Ordinary One Active Retinoid 5% in Swalane. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful, and that you now have a better understanding of how you can use it and add it to your skincare routine. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more about skincare in general and see the different applications, I have several videos for you on my YouTube channel, which I'm going to link some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.